Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be trying to get every single brother to 1k. So as always, been playing with Lorities and Mr. Lenane. I'll put both of their links in the description below, both two really good pro players. But yeah, as you can see, Lanny is my last 1k brawler to get. I mean, I've got quite a few 1.1k's, but uh, I've been taking uh, today a bit uh, relaxed. So just going to finish this off and maybe push a little bit more uh, going into the pre-push for next season. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into some games. Okay, guys, going into the first game then. So I love playing Nanny Mid, especially on Gem Grab. He's really good on this one. It's probably one of his best... Uh, I mean, is it her? I think Nanny's actually her. Uh, one of our best maps on this map for sure. So, uh, not really doing too much. Uh, it's a bit different actually playing. I've actually uh, bought a Ethernet adapter for my iPad, and it's literally perfect. But uh, at the minute, I can't actually play with it, obviously, because I'm recording. But uh, it's actually so much uh, better to actually play with a good connection. It's kind of crazy to actually see it. So, it's a bit weird actually adjusting to this a bit off topic, but. Uh, to let you guys know I've actually got that and it's definitely worth getting if you haven't got it already so look like they're actually sending Colt mid which is a bit insane uh, they've got a non-max Tara so shouldn't be having too many worries with that uh, for some reason bow's going lane definitely a weird choice so I'm just going to chase this bow into spawn and just finish off the kill it's an easy kill 2.6k damage you know you're going to finish that off for sure so again non-max Tara shouldn't be too hard Tara's somehow got super already but I think we've actually fed her a bit too much Colt is clipping, looking like Lenane can just do just that, just nick the gems, uh, which is one of Colette's best things. And I've, that's why I feel like Colette's best mode is definitely gem grab because of just that aspect. As you see him there, just able to collect the gems without any worries. And he's able to finish off the kill there as well. So just need two more gems. Needs to be a bit careful. We're a little bit low. This Colt is actually clipping us. Again, these bow mines are going to be a little bit annoying. We're able to finish off that kill. Uh, Lenane with the stun. I mean, if we can pick up this tara then it's worth it i mean we're going to kill the bow here at least and there's four gems here so we can just pick these up it needs to actually heal up in time but looking like we've got a countdown so uh not really been playing the best this game but i mean we're up against a bad comp you don't really need to play too well when you play against this kind of composition so i'm just going to get this bow here he's going to look for his trip y mines but we're able to finish off in time so that's a first win for us let's hop into the next game all right guys jumping into the next game and so uh, another good pick for hard rock mine i've definitely realized on ladder for sure is mortis there going mortis and it's a really good pick especially against our comp i mean collect's actually decent against mortis but mr p and nanny aren't the best but they're always just gonna be sitting back i'm gonna try and get some good shots on the mid they're going gene and pam in the mid i mean that's actually a really good combo i'm not too sure on uh this map but on other maps i've seen a lot of gene pam it definitely works especially in competitive because you just got so much healing this pam's going so aggressive actually being able to take me out there so that's a bit of a rip but yeah as i was saying the other day not really gonna i mean i'm pushing quite hard uh, at the minute but at the same time uh with obviously monthly finals around the corner next season won't be uh too much of a hard push we'll be having like two or three scrims a day so that's at least like six hours out of pushing time and obviously if you go for like a world record or a really high push that's a lot of time to actually miss out on a day that's probably like uh, at least 60 plus hours missed out of your season so i mean i probably won't be able to compete with anyone else if they go for number one but uh, regardless looking like uh msp is going to go down here i mean more is going to go down as well i've got my super so i can just probably uh kill this gene nice kill from lenane there i'm probably going to try and cycle this again so i can get more damage on this pam and we're able to take her out i mean that more is going to be going on lenane and look at that super collect is just insane on gem grab probably her best mode uh, that was a really nice play from Lane. We're able to secure all the gems there. So, um, it's got to watch out for this Mortis down this left because obviously you can get a team wipe, a gene pool. I'm just going to use my head here, try and get this gene away, at least pressure him back a little bit. And look how Mortis is going to be coming onto us now. And we're able to finish off the win there. Let's hop into the next game. Okay, guys, hopping into the next game. So, again, against the bow, bow is a really popular pick uh, inside of gem grab, especially as a mid. Uh, I know I told you guys in my top five brawler list that bro literally is such a strong brawler. Looking like this, uh, Sandy's BMing. I don't know if he's actually thrown, but <laughs> regardless, we're gonna try and pick up the win. And uh, apologies for how croaky I sound in today's video. I sound um, really ill in a minute, but I mean we're still going. Uh, regardless, look at Sandy wants to try now. So I mean that's exactly why I didn't stop the recording because people tend to do this. They just tend to BM. And then all of a sudden just start to play. So <laughs> here's another prime example of what I have to deal with all the time. I'd rather them just play the game. I mean, I don't really want any free wins. But looking like that spike super is probably going to screw us a little bit. 
I couldn't really TP or do anything. It was just bad timing, so I just had to finish off the hit. Uh, the bow mines on our gems, so I mean, I'm going to try and trip them without bow noticing. There's a lot of gems down there. Let's try and get him. We're going to get a nice 2.9k hit on him. We're actually going to go uh, get stunned there, but we should be able to finish off the kill on bow. Again, uh, Sunny's going to be pushing up. Sunny's actually really good on the lane on this map, uh, just because of um, the walls and whatnot. But we should be able to peek shot over this wall. Probably going to go down there. Spike literally two shot me there. That's insane. Uh, so the name with all the gems, so we can probably go a little bit aggressive. I know you can't really do that with Nanny, but uh, we haven't got any gems. So the name with a really nice super there. We nearly got stunned by the mines. Really bad gadget from that there team. We're able to kill the Sunday as well. So probably going to go TP on this bow, take him down and get the gems out. So there's no way they're going to be able to get us down there. Really nice play. Uh, we're able to do that. But you can't really do that normally with Nanny because you're a gem collector. But I mean, if, for example, like that, where I'm dead, I'm just able to TP on him, get the gems, get out of there. So... I mean, that's another win for us in the bag. Uh, Lane with the early BM there. We're able to take the win. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, heading into the next game. And look like I'm against a Piper mid. And that's another way, reason why Piper is in the meta because Nani most of the time will be a uh, mid just because of a little wall peek in the spot, as you can see here. Normally, I, I like to like wall peek over like this and constantly get like two or one shots around a wall. And Piper obviously can't do that. The only good thing about Piper in the meta at the minute is her. I think it's like homemade recipe gadget that makes it so you get a long shot uh, three times, which is probably the reason why she's even half decent in the meta. To be fair, she's probably a bottom 10 a lot in the meta. And that's really hard to actually uh, come out and say because I love playing Piper. But regardless, looking like the name's able to get a nice shot on the pan, we're able to finish her off. Looking like we've got all the control in the world here. I think Piper's probably gave up in spawn or she's just getting pressured back too much. But that's the name going really aggressive, really nice uh, kill there. We're able to auto aim that palm down. I don't really recommend it, uh, auto aiming too much with Nanny unless they're literally running towards you like that Pam just did. We should be able to just kill this Piper though down the lane and we're able to get that so easily. And that's another reason why, again, Piper is just so bad because with Nanny, it don't matter how long the distance is, you're going to be one shot in Piper like straight away, which is just insane. But look like we can get another win here. Literally, the enemy team not getting a single gem, uh, which is pretty bad for them. But I mean, their comp weren't really the best. They got three gem carriers and. Uh, it's never really going to be a good uh, recipe. So looking like we're going to, be able to pick up the win there. Not too much to say in that game. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, just two games to go to 1K Nanny to finish it off. Uh, so I think we're going to Piper again. So got to be pretty careful of the start. The start's only the worrying bit, but once she gets some gadgets down, she'll be okay. So again, looking like she's just gadgeted us. So that's 2.9K damage uh, immediately. So just got to heal up a little bit, but... Uh, she'll be able to push her back quite easily as we can just do. I mean, that was a bit lucky we stayed alive there. Uh, but, I mean, that was kind of calculated. I, pro I probably uh, definitely thought I'm not going to die there. So, again, we're able just to absolutely destroy that Piper there, which is uh, another reason why Nan is so dominant on this map. Just able to get a nice 2.9k hit. Uh, we're probably going to go down here if she uses her gadget and need to heal up. I'm just going to use my super so I can heal up in the back. Which is definitely a good strategy. Again, I'm going to go for the Piper. We should be able to take it down. Look how easy it is just to get Piper down there in the mid. Uh, really, really nice and simple to get it down. Already got eight gems. Another dominant display from the team. Again, look at this choke point. Especially with Nani. We literally can't come through that way. I could just shoot around a wall and finish off that Piper there. <laughs> so we're absolutely wiping the floor with this enemy team. They can't really do anything. And Spike's a really good lane, but Miss P obviously counters. Uh, we need to keep the aggression up. We don't want to get pinned back too easily. Rika with a super, but there's no way they're going to be able to uh, come back in this one. So looking like we've got another win. Only one more game away from 1k. Nani, let's jump into that last game. All right, guys, heading into the final game then. So we just literally played a game, uh, but unfortunately, uh, for whatever reason, my uh, Wi-Fi just stopped working. And so I was still won the game. So uh, now we're going to get absolutely destroyed by Piper in the mid. That is a bit of a rip, but... In the first engagement against Piper, it's normally pretty hard just because of her gadget. But look like we've got the trade on Piper at least. Now it's going to be really hard for us to deal with. And as is Rosa, to be honest, our comp isn't really the best. We need to watch out for this Rosa. I'm probably just going to go aggro against her. Let's try and take her down. She's literally right here. Let's go take her down. So uh, at least our Miss P can actually get up the map. So I'm actually close to uh, my super, which I am now. Should be able to just get Piper out of here. I immediately i just saw piper so i'll oh, try to avoid the rosa there uh because i saw piper over there but we're able to get the kill on her anyway and we got all the gems in the process so actually no sprouts got all the gems uh so i mean it's actually good for them in a way 
the sprout isn't really an aggressive brawler but that mid section that grass is really annoying i can't really destroy that with a nanny super uh so we've just got to keep an eye on piper keep her out of these bushes so i think our misspeed is actually struggling against the rosa but i've got to focus on this piper in the mid and rosa is down so looking like now we're only two gems away from getting the countdown so again i'm close to my uh, nanny peep head so we're able to get this i'm just going to go send it down the left hand side to take down this rosa uh because she's obviously going to be a bit annoying piper's going to jump away so we should be able to get these two gems out here safely just keep uh duking back and forth so the sprout can't take us down i'm ready to heal up in time so i'm going to stay in this bush so just in case anyone decides to go a bit aggro looking like we've got the final win in our box here not really uh well it's a bit tough at the beginning obviously getting absolute claps in the beginning but we're able to pick up the win in the end Okay guys, it's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed, obviously, that in my last 1k uh, for, for the season. So 39 brawlers, 1k, that is a good achievement. It's going to be crazy once there's like 50 brawlers in the game to push. It's going to be really hard to do that. So uh, yeah, every brawler 1k, uh, looking forward to next season. I'm going to be pushing with Tom, obviously number one. I think we've got to finish number one this season. Not really many people have actually given up. It's actually not loading the leaderboards, but we're about 800 trophies, 900 trophies uh above a second so we should be finishing off number one this season and then um, as i said two seasons time get ready get hyped for that me kc tom going for 45k so stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment subscribe guys and i'll see you all next time